Hey, hey everyone, Brittany Lynch here, and in this video I want to show you how you can use the pen search tool to come up with design ideas for t-shirts. Alright, so before I dive into showing you the pen search tool on Pinterest, the first thing I want to highlight is just going over to teespring.com slash discover, and this is a page that highlights a lot of the top selling campaigns on Teespring. Now, of course, you don't need to be selling your t-shirts on Teespring, you can be selling it on Viral Style or other sites as well. But I'm going to use this as an example of showing you some t-shirts that have sold really well and then kind of reverse engineer it to help you come up with ideas. And uh, I've got many people who are using this tool who are very, very big in the t-shirt selling community, sell hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they kind of swear by this method of finding designs that are going to convert really, really well. Okay? So I'm going to scroll down here and it says browse some of our campaigns and you can see just some of the campaigns that have done really well okay so first thing I want to kind of highlight is many of these top selling campaigns actually have a fair amount of text on them it's not just a graphic design it actually has text on it all right so you can see this one nursing is not a career it's a post-apocalyptic survival skill all right well that's interesting and the first thing that comes to mind to me is where did they get the inspiration for that design? Was it a quote? Was it something that maybe they found online or even on Pinterest? Let's see what else. Okay, we didn't fight because we hated what was in front of us. We fought because we loved what was behind us. U.S. veterans, all right? So there's a few different niches here. We've seen the nursing niche, the U.S. veteran niche, um, if you want to call it a niche, really it's targeting a specific audience. And again, that is really important when you're choosing t-shirt designs to create. Try to focus in on one niche. So for example, if you want to focus on nurses, maybe because you're a nurse yourself or you know someone who is a nurse, you can interview them to kind of understand what triggers them emotionally, um, then that's a good kind of approach. Also. A good reason to kind of stick with one niche is so that you can reuse your traffic. If you're building a fan page, you can test designs on your fan page. You can often re-message um, or send email broadcasts to buyers of your uh, pre-existing nurse campaigns, all right? So we see the nurse niche, the U.S. veteran niche. Let's kind of keep going down here. All right, Eagle Scouts. Um, my craft allows me to do anything in the world. I am the last of a dying breed of people who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty, all right? So again, lots of text. Let's see this one. It cannot be inherent. Oh, it cannot be inherited and it can even be purchased. It can't even be purchased. I've earned it with my blood, sweat, and tears. I own it forever, the title Teamster, all right? Again, for a very specific niche. Um, never underestimate a woman with a prayer and a plan, okay, so a bit of a religious underlying tone in that shirt. Another nurse t-shirt with a lot of text, engineering. Um, so I want to kind of just show you an example. Let's actually just choose the U.S. veteran niche, all right? So you can come to a tool like this, teespring.com slash discover, and see sort of designs that are trending, designs that are doing well, to give you an idea of maybe a niche for you to go into, but you never want to knock any of these designs off. Use it as an inspiration point. So let's just say U.S. veterans, all right? And let's go on over to Pinterest. Okay, so we're at Pinterest, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and enter in veteran quotes or army quotes, and I'm going to press search. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the pen search tool and I'm going to auto load five pages. So that means it's going to load five pages uh, and then start sorting the pen. So I'm going to select sort by repens. And now it's loading all five pages and bringing the most repen quotes to the very top of the page. All right. So we'll see the results in just a second. All right. So that's done now because you can tell it says reload, which means it's done loading and sorting. So now we have the most repin post to the very top. All right. So let's look here. Waiting is so hard, but I'll spend as much time alone as I have to. If that means getting to spend the rest of my life time with you. Okay. So that's an interesting quote, and that could be really uh, an interesting angle with wives of veterans are wives of people in the army. And so I'm just gonna kind of browse through these to get a sense of what I'm looking for um, and see what it is that is on this page. 
All right, well, look at this. This is really interesting. So this is obviously a pretty popular quote. A soldier doesn't fight because he hates what is in front of him. He fights because he loves what, left, what he left behind. So where does that sound familiar from? This one has 517 repins. And let's actually take a look here and look at this t-shirt. It's not the exact same quote, but it's very, very, very similar. And that it has 346 sold. So let's go back. So this has 517 repins. That quote was transitioned into a t-shirt design. And again, it's nothing too fancy. It's mostly just text um, designed nicely and with a small image. So this person took a quote that they found online and transitioned it into a t-shirt design. So I think that's really, really neat that we actually found that specific quote here on Pinterest. Now, this one isn't even the most repinned quote, all right? This only has 517 repins. So if we actually scroll to the top and we start looking at the pins who have the most number of repins, to me that indicates that we'll probably be able to come up with some designs here or at least some inspiration for designs that are gonna get really, really great um, sales, all right? So you can just go through this. Um, we'll put a boot in your ass, it's the American way, 3,000 repins and you know even some design and inspiration there with the American flag. Let's see what else we've got. Behind every strong soldier, there is even stronger women who stand behind him, support him, love him with all her heart. Now, obviously, Pinterest is a female-dominated site, but you want to kind of look at the top posts and just start to look for trends. And to me, I'm seeing at the trend that there are a lot of quotes kind of speaking about the woman and the woman's experience of her husband or her boyfriend or significant other um, off fighting in a war. So this one, which is the most repent, is actually from the woman's perspective, okay? And this one is as well. So that would indicate to me that maybe I want to create a t-shirt design targeted to the women um, of, you know, or the significant other of US veterans, all right? So this is just one example, um, but you can go through and do this in just about any niche. Again, the nurse niche was a really popular niche um, when you look at, oops, nurse quote. When you look at the most popular t-shirts sold, um, and again, these aren't the most popular. Obviously, there are campaigns that have sold thousands and thousands, but a lot of people will be really happy with a few hundred t-shirts for a particular campaign. So nursing, engineering came up. So let's just see here, nurse quotes. I'm going to reload this tool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select five pages again and sort by repins. All right, so we have our nurses quotes, uh, the most repin ones brought to the top. Uh, I really like this one to do what nobody else will do, a way that nobody else can do, uh, in spite of all you go through, that is to be a nurse. So that's been repinned 8,301 times. That's a very, very, very popular post. Um, and I bet you anything that the inspiration for this design here, nursing is not a career, it's a post-apocalyptic post survival skill, probably came from a quote or some sort of text-based um, post on Pinterest. And that is not even ranking in the top few posts here. So I think if you took this design and converted it into a t-shirt, it would do very well. All right, so you get the idea. I'm really using the pin search tool to bring quotes that um, have been repinned uh, a large amount of times to the top and use that as design inspiration to translate into a t-shirt design, all right? So once you get your quote, you do want to convert it into a design. You can use an in-house designer, Odesk or Fiverr, something along those lines uh, to make it more visually appealing. And you can see here that a lot of the shirts do have a lot of text on them, but they have kind of a nice clean design associated with them as well. This one's more text-based. This one's kind of almost like a family crest. Um, so hopefully you found this helpful and you can see how powerful using the tool is to come up with designs. Just to kind of recap, you do want to identify a niche you want to start in. Um, it could be career-based. Occupations tend to do very, very well, but it doesn't have to be. It could be hobby-based as well. And really try to focus on that initially because you're able to uh, repurpose your traffic and repurpose your efforts. And once you've identified uh, your 
niche that you want to go into, you can head on over to Pinterest and enter in phrases like nurse quotes or even nurse t-shirts you can do and you can bring the most pinned shirts to the top and start to look for trends of phrases or even colors and t-shirt designs. So there's a lot you can really gather uh, and use to make educated guesses when it comes to creating a profitable t-shirt design. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks very much.